Well, I tell my God, yes, God, if God can make a man rest in a lion's den, when the lion is the king of the jungle, I've seen people live in houses that were seen from the outside they need to be condemned. But it provided a roof and a shelter over their head. And I say a prayer for them when I go by. You can't tell me that God is not able. You hear me? You can't tell me that God is not worthy to be served. I ain't found nothing no better, baby. I ain't found nothing no better. I ain't found nobody that can treat me like Jesus. I ain't found nobody that can rock me in the midnight hour. I ain't found nobody that can come the savage beast. I ain't found nobody that'll make me salute him. When I walk into the room, baby, straight salute go to the father's here. A smile comes on my face. My daddy's here. A smile comes on my face. My savior here. A smile comes on my face. My messiah is here. A smile comes on my face. My provider is here. A smile comes on my face. My Hello is here. A smile comes on my face. They can say what they want to, baby. But I'm sold out. And my mind is fixed. And my heart and all is made up. No room for vacancies. Freedom got all filled up. His spirit lives in me. And that's the reason I'm sold out, baby. I love what I feel. You hear me? I love how I live. You hear me? I go to bed in peace. And I wake up in peace. The only time I ain't got peace is when I'm having to intercede. When I'm having to pray and fight. When I'm having to battle. When I'm having to get in them modes. When I see the enemy trying to kill people. Make me want to battle. When I see him trying to take folk down. It angles me. When I see him trying to bust up families, it makes me angry. When I see the enemy using people with callings on their life and using them like foods, it makes me angry. That's when I hunger over Saya. Who I got no more to see about. Make up a papa here. See, I'm not a massacre. Rock up a papa. That's when I'm getting a war. He can buy the most. So if you think me and you battling, let me tell you, baby. The only thing I battle with is your demons. He shoot your papa I fight every one of your demons. Your family demon. Homosexual demons. Lying demons. I battle every one of them. He go papa no and won't even must flinch. Won't flinch. Won't flinch. Huh? Do I look scored? No. Won't flinch. You better not be. She touched it and they you better have some stand up in you. He she she titi na mo si. You better have some stand up in you. He ko tala la masa. When shall would be scared? I've always felt like this. When the Lord called me the pastor, it wasn't that I was scared. It was just a fact that man, I don't be bothered with folk like that. I'll just be honest with you. That was my thing. It wasn't fear. It was man, I don't be bothered with folk. Partly because I had seen other pastors. Uh, having to deal with things with people uh, but what God showed me was uh, was girl you ain't even gotta have it like that because if you establish order in the place uh, you ain't gotta wrestle with that stuff like that I said when I first come in this joint I said it's gonna be hard in here for you to do anything I don't do you hear what I tell you now I said it's gonna be hard for you to do anything that I don't do and what I meant by that is uh, is I'm an enemy against anything that I don't do 
Now, if I was a liar, you got free course to lie up in here. If I was a whoremonger, you got free course to whoremonger up in here. Uh huh. You know what I'm saying? Uh, whatever. Because I can't fight against something I am. I can't stop you from something I'm doing. But if it's something I don't let go of, you best believe I'm my enemy of it now, baby. I'm warring against it now. You best believe it. I'm fighting against it now. So if you want to know if I'm the enemy, yeah. Yeah. If you want to know what I'm fighting against, I just gave it to you. Yeah. That's what I fight against. And so God said to me, you don't have to worry about that. He said, order in your house. He said, order. You don't have to worry about that. You don't have to worry about that. And I can honestly say, six years was celebrated last Monday. And I can honestly say this right here. There ain't been a time in the six years I ever had to struggle and worry about a dime, a finance, or anything to come to the building and I don't have the biggest congregation. But I ain't ever had to worry about nothing to make it in here. As a matter of fact, I would get at the finance crew if they got scared. Because if you'll sell out, you'll be all right. You put him in a predicament where you got to show up when you leave no room for failure. He has to show up right. when you leave him no other option. Many people don't see God because they have too many options. Amen. Amen. You can't see God. Amen. You got fear sitting over here in the corner. And fear is your option. Mm -hmm. But God can't be God. God can't be big as he want to be. Mm -hmm. You get that option out from over there and turn it all over to faith. You'd be surprised what he'll come through and do. So I cut myself options. I don't give myself no options. I don't. I don't give myself no options. I've seen people this year get into some stuff that has made me literally sit and reevaluate things. When I tell you I'm a thinker, it has literally made me sit and reevaluate things. So to the point. That I was literally sitting and I was thinking, I said, now you know, that joke allowed to try me with a man, try to make me fall in sin, you know, literally, to try to make me fall in sin because I'm not exempt. Preacher ain't exempt now. This one tells the truth about us, bro. This is now he, you know, mess around and send a man my way to get in my ear. To try to pull me into some stuff because it's a bunch of crazy stuff kicking off now. Spirit of perversion running crazy. Running crazy. So as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be when the Son of Man returned. So what are you going to do, Delphine, in order to protect yourself from that type of stuff? What you're going to do is you're going to set boundaries. That's what you're going to do. You're not going to be Amen. setting up anywhere Amen. with anybody in Amen. private That's right. Amen. by yourself Amen. like that. Amen. You're not going to let them get in your Amen. ear on a continuous Amen. basis like that. Amen. It'll mess you up. Amen. See, Amen. it'll mess you up. Amen. See, when you see what's going on, Amen. you sense when you see other Amen. folk dealing with stuff. Amen. No, it's no judging. Amen. But it's common sense to protect Amen. yourself. Amen. Because if it can happen to Sally Sue, it can happen to you. If it can happen to Billy Bob, it can happen to you. And so I protect. I want to set some boundaries. That's what you do. Because he's looking for any door, any opportunity to be able to get in. And literally, one of the places he's getting in it's unresolved sin. Unresolved sin issues. Things from the past. Stuff that's not dealt with. Those are doors that he's able to get in. Very few people are finding themselves doing something new. 
You better hear what I'm saying to you. Very few people are finding themselves doing something new. It's something that is being rehashed for something that was not dealt with. Some appetite that was still there that was not dealt with. You hear me now? That appetite. So he's coming in in those areas. And so what I've been doing is, is I've been checking myself. Say, oh, old girl, wait a minute. Make sure you got this. You know that? Where you at? You know what I'm saying? Where you at in this? Where you at in that? I even went back to think about some things that I've been in, in, my, in my childhood, in my past life, just to make sure that I squashed all that stuff and got all that stuff taken care of. Made sure. Hmm? Because the Bible talks about this is the revelation God gave me the other day. Jesus said, when Satan come, he said, I need you to notice something, Delphine. I need you to help the people with the word when. Amen. Which means there is an appointed time. I've done right. tried to tell right. y'all. I love it, man. Y'all, y'all are getting it. I love it. Y'all are hearing me. And I promise you that you will be people that will walk in victory in this earth. I promise you now, because God got a remedy. He says, when. Now notice what I said to y'all a few minutes ago about Job. It says, when the sons of God presented themselves. See, there is an appointed time as to when Satan will try you. Uh huh. Okay, so let me help you further understand it. Man has been in prison. Woman has been in prison five years. Has not done any dope since they were in, since while they was in prison. No dope at all while they were in prison. Serving that time, no dope. So they think that they've lost the appetite for dope. But the devil is at the door of the uh, waiting at the gate when they leave out of the prison for the win. See, you can't think just because you don't deal with something that you deliver. Please don't get caught up in that misconception. No, you've got to go through a purification. You've got to go through a cleansing. There are many people that have thought they were through with something just because it was no longer presenting itself, but then... Down the road, it presented itself, and they found themselves back in the sheets again. Say, so deliverance is a must. You have to do evaluations. I've been checking myself to listen. What you do, you set boundaries, girl, to make sure that you don't find yourself in that kind of predicament. Which means what? I'm not going to be sitting up on the phone with no dude, you know, Amen. just letting him penetrate in my ear. And, and females either. Letting them penetrate in my ear. You understand? That's for women and men. I mean it because all that's happening. Yeah. It ain't just men. It ain't, it ain't just women and men. All that's happening. I told y'all the spirit of perversion running crazy. Yeah. So I am not uh, do you hear me? going to be sitting up no, no, no. Doing that. No. I can't. So you have to set boundaries for yourself. Not because you are better than anybody, but because you're protecting yourself from what could happen. You're protecting yourself from what could happen. Because it's subject to happen to anybody. Nobody is exempt. I have said it, and I'll say it to the Lord, tell me any different. I do not believe anybody grows up saying that they're going to, when I get 30 years old, I'm going to be strong. I don't know. No. They were talking about, when I grow up, I'm going to be a doctor. When I grow up, I'm going to be a nurse. I'm going to have five children. Some folks even plan out their kids. You know, as a little kid, or how many children that they want to have. Ain't nobody said nothing about destruction. Nobody planned for no destruction in their life. But while you are planning for promises, the devil is planning destruction. Do you know that? While you are planning for promises, the enemy is planning your destruction. Planning your demise. And so therefore, 
we have to know how to walk in balance. And balance means that I have to know both sides of the coin. If I don't know what a head of a coin look like when a head come my way, I won't be able to tell you that that's head. If I don't know what tails look like when tails show up, I won't be able to tell you that's tails. But if I am able to...